We're on top of the world. Oh, okay. Well, now it comes to it. So we're back on the road. It's seven o'clock, pretty much on the dot. Nice strong headwind in my face. That's just what I need for the day. <laughs> um, so the first like 60 kilometers is gonna be crap because it's all uphill, more or less. And I'm on, uh, once I get out of the city of Quito, basically climb out of the valley, I should be good. So there's um, 2,500 meters of climbing, 140 kilometers of distance. Just gotta get it done. Hopefully, I don't have to camp on the side of the road. That would not be fun. Wish me luck. Okay, so we got some quick Ecuadorian road travel safety tips. Uh, number one, street signs are never what they're actually supposed to be called. It's just they change all the time. So, ask directions. Uh, number two, if uh, if there's cardboard or something wood on the ground, it's not just garbage. It's actually probably covering a hole in the ground. Number three. Uh, if a bus stops, that's not a sign for the oncoming traffic, the other side traffic to stop. It means that they come into your lane, thereby turning into oncoming traffic. That's a good one. You might remember that one. You know, it's a big mountain when, it, when there's ghosts on top of it. So I more or less completed the first of uh, the two big climbs of the day. Uh, this one was basically out of the city, halfway more or less. It took me about two hours. My knee's already hurting again, which is not a good sign. Um, hopefully it's just the first day, back on the bike, feeling it. But I don't know if it permits, I'll have to stop and I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, the second climb is coming up, check it out. See that in the background? There you go. I kind of feel like Captain Ahab spawned the white whale. Har, there she blows. Look at the scenery. You know, for all my whinging about my legs and the climb, it's not a bad scene to behold. Well, I just finished, like, early lunch, brunch, whatever, second breakfast. Um, it's like four bucks for like a Coke, a juice, a coffee, rice, salad, <laughs> pork, and two eggs. And a bottle of water. Unbelievable country. Um, however, I've also discovered that the washrooms here, um, as you can see right behind me, <coughs> don't have toilet paper in them at all. I think it's just you have to bring your own. So... While my Spanish sucks, my English-Spanish dictionary just came in handy. So I'm going to stop in the village of Latacunga tonight. It's only 54 kilometers away. My knees are really hurting. I, I, don't, I won't be able to make it on Bato, especially with the wind in the, in the hills. Um, this, is the, this is the town of Machachi, which uh, is pretty... I mean, there's a lot of poverty here kind of, uh, you know, really, uh, really takes you away, like, you know, it really shows you the country, you know, there's a lot of people that they don't have anything, so, uh, yeah. As that mountain gets closer, I get more tired. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the wind, but it's just too much. I was expecting the hell, but this wind is unbelievable, right in the face. Well, I made it more or less to the top of the second climb, about 50 kilometers into the day, and uh, it's only 2 o'clock, I was at 6 and 7 in the morning, so it's been a long day already. Supposedly from here on out, it's pretty downhill as we get into the next valley. Um, yeah, anyway, just have to get it done, but check it out. There she blows, Captain! Chimborazo, dead ahead. Check out the mountain. Look at the view. Unreal. Just spectacular. I was at the top of the climb, but I don't know if you hear it, the wind is immense. It feels like I'm still going uphill. I 
the mountain you saw before? That was El Boliche. Not Chimborazo. Got a little forest fire happening on the other side of the road. Thankfully, I'm not close to it. Commandos. So I made to Latacangua, um, which is like 30 kilometers, 35 kilometers just before Ambato. Um, once I got over the first couple, first two big climbs a day, it kind of descended and leveled up, but the wind was still super strong, so it was still a killer day. Um, this is the hotel room. Like, eight bucks a night. It's a steal. Free internet, too. Unbelievable. This country. Um, so I think, uh, I don't know, we'll... I'll definitely be able to make it on Bato tomorrow, but I'm gonna make sure to check. I gotta check with. This, I gotta call, see if I can get a sports doctor online because, um, yeah, these knees are not. Uh, they should not be this bad after a month off, and on the first day. Anyway, um, otherwise today was a good day. Um, very scenic country, very very scenic, and the roads are are pretty good. Like the driving is crap. There's no getting around that. But the driving crap in Mississippi and like Alabama. So like. You know, this is an up from there. Rules of the road in in Ecuador. Um, not only are, can you reverse in the middle of the road, it's recommended, I imagine, because I've seen everyone do it. Just basically, the general thing is, if it's a if there's a paved surface, you can drive it. <laughs> and if that paved surface happens to be in the oncoming traffic, you might drive that as well. 